tomorrow Shaking from my yesterday Still waking up, huh? still waking up Still waking up to today Holding on to my tomorrow Shaking from my yesterday Still waking up, still waking up Still waking up to today Open up my eyes Lately I can't see When everything's blind That's when you're watching me Open up my heart Lately I don't care Places falling apart gathered here together on this day to witness and celebrate the marriage of Jordan and Christy. We come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen the bond that already exists. This ceremony is a public affirmation of that bond, and as their dearest family and friends, it is our honor and privilege to stand witness to this event. Jordan and Christy would like to thank their families and friends for their endless love and support over the years. They know they could not have made it here without you all. I'd like to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Aaron Majeris. I've known Jordan for a little over four years now, and Christy almost just as long. I had the distinct pleasure of being there the day that they met. I was Jordan's boss at the time, although he uh, doesn't like me to, to say that. I was also his friend. It was a typical day at the Buckle in Waterloo that day. Um, I remember Christy came in with a friend or two. They were shopping for some clothes. I believe it was summer season. And of course, Jordan had to help Christy. I remember walking by and seeing Jordan complimenting everything that Christy was trying on that day. I remember thinking to myself and shaking my head. But I remember later on, I pulled Jordan aside and said, stay focused. This, this is your job. It's your job. And if you all know Jordan, you know that little 
giggle that he gets when he thinks he's being clever or funny and said something along the lines like she was flirting back, I couldn't help it. <laughs> on this day, apparently, <laughs> on this day, this is, uh, excuse me, um, these two are pretty special to me. I, I remember the day that I, I knew it was meant to be for these two. It, it, was, it was the day that Jordan um, told me that, for one, he had celiac disease, but then also she had celiac disease. And he said, but she showed me the way. She makes these amazing meals that are gluten-free. And she swept him off, her, or off his feet that moment with her cooking. <laughs> These two have been on a journey together. They have moved, taken a big leap before marriage especially, moved down to Albia, um, and have started a beautiful life together. Uh, I can't tell you how happy I am to, to stand up here and it is an honor to marry you guys on this day. At this time, Christy's mom, Jessica, has a reading prepared. Okay, a lot of this is gonna sound familiar. He just went over it. But a long time ago, we were making up funny little rhymes for Christy. A lot of them were inappropriate, because if you know me, I have a potty mouth. I said, why don't you read this at the wedding? I thought, okay. I thought she forgot about it, but she didn't. So this is the first one. If you need to know, ask her about last night. So someone who was complaining about gas leaking, this caused Christy to go streaky. So later ask her what happened at the hotel. And you'll get a good story. Okay, you ready? Okay. So April 2016, Christy needed a new attire. That's the day she met Jordan. Fire! Thank you. That night she drove to Waterloo in hopes of making him her new boo. On that night, Jordan found a 20 in the parking lot, a fact that Christy still has not forgot. It was on this night that they discovered they both had celiac. Boy, oh boy, was that a big deliac. <laughs> July 2016, to Albia they moved. Of this, everyone. Albia? Albia, I'm sorry. Of this, everyone approved. Off to Mason City they went. It was time to meet the family. Jordan went along happily. This is when great aunt Judy called Jordan a cutie. Now, don't get me wrong, it hasn't been perfect. When Jordan doesn't put his stuff away, Chrissy complains all day. <laughs> then there are the times that they both have diarrhea. This has been streaming, Mama Mia! <laughs> June 6, 2017, at Texas Roadhouse, a surprise was staged. This is when Chrissy and Jordan got engaged. And on the same day, they gave us a chuckle when they bought a puppy and named him Buckle. Thank you for not naming my first grandchild back. <laughs> July 2017, a house was bought, and they haven't given this a second thought. <clears throat> and in this house, I hope for them to believe in love, to learn their love languages and use it, to love each other as you are, to take, but also give to each other every day, to have fun together. Continue to share your memories, your hopes, your dreams, and your fears. Listen with your ears, but also with your heart. Face obstacles together as a team. Always kiss each other hello and hug goodbye. Never stop saying I love you. Compromise. Believe the best in each other rather than the worst. Be each other's best friends. Love each other even on the days you struggle to like each other. Forgive and especially forget. Hold hands, flirt, have sex. Lots and lots of it. Fill that house of babies. Lots and lots of them. Make this your love story and give it a great happy ending. Thank you. Tonight starts. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Jordan and Chrissy, please say soon. Pretty important questions here. Jordan and Christy, do you, with your family and friends as your witnesses, present yourselves willingly 
and of your own accord to be joined in marriage. We do. We do. Will you promise to care for each other in the joys and sorrows of life, come what may, and to share the res responsibility for growth and enrichment of your life together? We will. We will. Jordan and Christy have prepared their own vows for tonight. All right, uh, I'm not a public speaker, so bear with me here. All right, Christy, almost three years ago, you walked into the buckle. You caught my attention from the start, not knowing where it would lead. I took a leap of faith while I tried flirting. <laughs> from that point forward, I have been head over heels for you. Standing here before you, looking into your eyes, I see everything I fell in love with that day. To be honest, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. What I can tell you though, is that you've made me feel more complete, you've made me feel more alive, and you have showed me the true meaning of happiness and love. I can honestly say, you by my side, I'm a better person. Looking into your eyes takes me back to every laugh we've shared, every hard time we've had, and every beautiful moment that's yet to come. It makes me think of all the wonderful things yet to come. And with that, I want to promise you that I will always be your best friend to the good times and the bad. I promise I will show you passion and acceptance in our lifetime together. I promise I will always comfort you. I promise I will always put you first after buckle, but <laughs> so second. I promise to laugh and to cry with you. I promise to always give you my trust. I promise to make our lives rich whenever we are in times of poverty. And if we ever make it to wealth, which we probably won't, I'm a cop. <laughs> I promise to never let my love for you grow poor. I promise to respect you as my equal. And most importantly, I promise to show you unconditional love forever and always in our lifetime together. I can't wait to grow old together, falling more and more in love with you every single day. Together, we are better than we could ever be alone. Today, I give you my trust, my fidelity, Christy, that means faithfulness, <laughs> and my love until death do us part without condition. Top that. <clears throat> Jordan Dean Byer, when I met you, when I met you, I never thought I'd be marrying the buckle guy, but the moment you said, I have celiac disease, I knew you were the missing piece to my puzzle. We both know I'm the most indecisive person, but the one thing I'm most certain of is the love I have for you. I promise to support you in your successes and in your challenges, to respect you as your own person with your own interests and desires and needs, that those are sometimes but no less important than my own. I promise to care for you in sickness and in health, unless it's a man cold. I promise to trust you and respect you, to laugh with you, and I'll always be silly with you. But I will find more reasons to love you every single day for the rest of my life. Jordan, thank you for choosing me and loving me even when I make it almost impossible. You're my hero, my safe place, my home. I did, I do, and I'll always choose you. Now the exchange rings. Jordan, take this ring, place it on Christie's left hand, and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Christie, take this ring, place it on Jordan's left hand, and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Today you have pledged yourselves to a lifetime of caring for one another. May this be a commitment made in love, lived in hope, and eternally renewed. As you stand before us, it is our hope that you will go through loving life, trusting and caring for one another completely and forever. At this time, Jordan and Christy have a unity painting. A fun alternative to the traditional unity can candle ceremony or sand ceremony. 
The Unity Canvas Painting Ceremony lets the couple celebrate their Unity Ceremony in an artistic way that truly represents themselves. Jordan and Christy, this blank canvas symbolizes the start of this new journey together. The new family that you are now forming and are dedicated to build together. Your canvas represents the passion, love, and tenderness at the core of this new family and which will be the building block of your new life as one. May you remember the commitment of love that lies at the foundation of your new life together. Jordan and Christy, from this moment forward, you will never be alone. You will carry with you the love of, one, of another person, giving you a completeness and renewed lightness. May your life together be immersed in love and excitement. May you strive to enrich each other in every way possible. It is my honor to pronounce you by the power invested in me by the Universal Life Church, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Face, face them. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jordan and Christy Byer. If I simply want to trace you So let's raise your glass to feel your Here's to love and laughter and happily ever after And if I simply can't erase you oh, You're such a good older sister I can't, I can't what you mean to me And if I always want to call you Hear the softness in your voice Well, I just simply want to love you And simply feel I lack a choice I know that you feel this And you simply are the same doesn't have to be complicated It's as simple as me and you Love's a symphony already orchestrated We can sing along when we say I do Simply start a family And scrape the barrel to get by That will simply be enough for me To find meaning in this life We know that forever Not long enough It doesn't have to be Complicated It's as simple as Me and you Love's a symphony Already orchestrated We can sing along When we say I do Complicated 
It's as simple as me and you. Love's a symphony already orchestrated. We can sing along when we say I do. When we say I do. 